a little while back, we figured out that Estorosa works incredibly well with non-demon characters because, oh well, his passive, Darkness, which increases basic stats to all allies, actually works in anyone. So, of course, defense for Naofumi is on that, you know... <laughs> it's so stupid. We're, this is gonna work, okay? This is gonna work. I have enough CC that I'm probably gonna CC people, hopefully. Um, and this is gonna work. Trust me, I'm not great. This is gonna work. And, you know, even if it doesn't, it's okay. At least we had fun along the way. But this should work decently because... We're gonna... By going first, if you can go, if you can go first, this is a terrible idea. We're gonna taunt up, right? We're gonna do our double attacks. And now we have enough defense that we're gonna be tanking pretty good. We have Zelda's passive maxed out, and we have some darkness, not not much, only six darkness, but that's what, 30%? No. Yeah. Yeah, that's 30%, yes. That's good enough. And we'll see how much defense Nafumi has, because he also, you know, buffs allies' basic stats depending on his own defense. The only problem is that I just realized I never really check on his defense that much. 67.9. And also almost 400k HP. It's like using Raftalia. But we also have Darkness on the enemy, so like, you know, Asterosa has like 442,000 HP. Oh my god, he has quite a lot of stats. Uh, uh... Uh, no! <laughs> that for me! Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, he only has three stacks of his own passive, right? So I'll say that was pretty... I didn't, I didn't like that. I, that was a waste of a stance. That was pretty bad. And now we have no more stance and no Hendrickson attack either. That was really bad. Uh, th th maybe I should have been faster there. But other than that, that was pretty good. Oh no! Oh, now for me, it all depends on you now. Oh no! Uh, and he has no stance either? Oh! I think I made a mistake here. <laughs> oh no, wait. Uh, 36,000. He's gonna do good damage. He's gonna do good damage, actually. Even if I have stance. Yeah! That was enough to kill Akina, which was one of the strongest characters there. Out of the three characters, she was probably the second strongest after Philo. So... But she sealed healing. Sealing healing is actually the most imp Okay. That's also pretty annoying to deal with. But sealing my heal was... Oh, she was disabled. Never mind. The biggest thing to worry about... Because uh, Tarmio Link is the source of my life here, and please don't die, Asterosa. Thanks. Uh, not that it matters, to be honest. Because we're, we're I was gonna attack with Nafui, but we don't. It's fine. We're just gonna ult Asterosa. He's gonna do his thing. We're buffing his attack with Nafumi's, uh stance, so Asterosa is gonna do all damage. Alright, next match, we won't just look distracted and now for me stats and actually play the game, I promise. One thing to know is that I'm very used to at this point as well, uh, using, of course, using, uh, I think we can AoE once. I think we can AoE once. <sighs> what was I talking about? Oh yeah, using defense food for 28% extra defense, which makes a lot of a difference. 28% is a lot. We're still having quite decent defense even without that, which is pretty nice. Okay, will he attack me? Probably not, because he doesn't have to. Wow. Uh, okay. Okay. Now for me, you are 
our last chance here. I don't think Twiggle dies. I'm increasing Astros' attack. Not enough, okay. Uh, now I'm gonna have to solo this. It's okay. It's okay. He, it's, the thing is, right, like, Reinhard, can Reinhard even win by himself? I don't know. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't think he even gives a Starosa here. Yeah. My stats are very, very high. Like, he can be 6-6, six, six, right? But my stats are so high with Darkness and me increasing all ally stats and everything. And he doesn't have Arthur. So... I'm sorry, Reinhard, but... It is what it is, man. It is what it is. This is a terrible team. If you're gonna Twiggle Alt Rush, don't use Liz. Use Arthur for increased damage and everything. Like, Reinhardt by himself is a strong character. Do not get me wrong. But... He is a strong character with help. He needs, you know, his own team to work out for him to actually be that strong. Oh my god, he's gonna cleanse? No way. Oh, that's actually not... It's actually not bad. Only problem for him is that I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to apply two more Darkness and then ult. That's increased damage. I think I'm able to debuff. With the ultimate. I would admit that was actually pretty good. Not being able to lower his stats is pretty good. Doesn't matter though. Goddess Liz. Okay. Um, sure. We're gonna go for the same as before. We're gonna taunt in double AoE. Should I have triple AoE? I should have triple AoE. I don't care about taunt, actually. I should have triple AoE. I should have saved my taunt for next turn. It's probably in his best interest to attack uh, now for me, anyways. Hmm. Yeah, that that was that was my uh, my uh, my fault there. What do I do now? I think even though I don't have a shield, I'm gonna AOE again with uh, with Hendrickson. Apply all darkness. His AOE doesn't apply darkness. But then Astorosa, I'm gonna use him to kill Goddess Liz for the revive. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, but it's good because he didn't touch uh, my weaker character like Hendrickson. Okay. Why are the odds Goddess Liz just dies from this attack here? I think they're pretty good, but I'm still gonna go for her. Oh, yeah. Jeez, almost wiped. I should have AoE'd again with Hendrickson, and I actually would have killed so many of them. Yeah, here. I killed her with the attack, so she didn't get applied on other darkness. Um, so I still have 9 darkness, increasing all of my character stats. By 45%, or basic stats, doesn't matter. That's extra HP and defense. It's huge for all the characters to have extra HP and defense here, because Rimuru does a lot of, I mean, he's disabled now, because he attacked twice, but... Sure, Melee does a lot of damage. Yeah, that's not gonna do much. I have so much stats now. And next turn, we can check on Naofumi again, without the stance, how much he has. Please don't quit. I wanna, I wanna see this. We don't have a stance, unfortunately. 38k, not bad. I would stance and then get everyone encroached and then attack. That would have been beautiful. It would have been a good amount of damage for sure. Oh, no, because she died. Okay, never mind. 
It would have been such good damage. Three encroached enemies? I need to do that. I really need to go for that. Okay, his bond in the back actually managed to survive, so... Now he's being encroached. Can we get some crits? I know I have no crit chance. But we might. Ah, still not bad, all things considered. Bruh. Another one. This one's actually scary, though. Um. I'm gonna do this. I don't think this will kill. Okay. She is dying next turn. After he already gets the ultimate gauge, so it's fine. Please attack me. That Twiggle took a lot of this is not this is not a bot. That Twiggle took a lot of damage, damn. Ceiling debuffs. Nah she he knew she was gonna die. Okay. The moment for getting two buffs instead. Because the moment she dies, then he gets the ultimate. Uh, hmm. Really wish I could encroach him. Okay. Mel is gonna kill me, but I have a revive. I'm counting on the revive. Then I, I revive, right? And I uh, level 2 stance, alright Hendrickson, calm down. Level 2 stance, level 2 attack. Mm -hmm. Who heal from Tarmia Link? Oh, they didn't actually kill me, I think. I'm not so sure, actually. Let's do this. And we win. I'm not gonna kill. Uh, with this attack, but... It's just... Absolutely impossible for him to make a comeback. This revive mechanic is actually insane. Was that blue Tarmia on Meliodas? That heal was quite a bit. I didn't see him heal as soon as he got attacked. I think it's blue Tarmia. Wow, good damage, Merlin. Good. Good. <laughs> oh, wow, good damage, Merlin. Okay, Brynhildr. We can only debuff her once, so that's kind of annoying, but... We're gonna go for the triple attack this time, for triple darkness. And then we also, on that process, are going to be getting... Um, max out just passive regardless of her only beating buff one, once or, or, or not. Doesn't matter. With 9 debuffs, of a 45% defense. It's still less than having Gil Thunder. Okay, if I had Gil Thunder... I'll have 60, of course. But Zelda's giving 24, I'm giving... Okay, it's more than Gil Thunder. It's more than Gil Thunder. He only attacked now for me once. Hmm. Still going for it. Oh no, she's gonna get unencroached, un right? Because of Saria Link. I I love that passive. I love that. It's just so great. So great. Um, well, enough we did okay. The damage he did, I mean, he only had one stack. You really want him to have like at least three or four stacks when you attack. Which can be a problem. 
But it's alright. Um... Should kill. Or maybe not. Never mind. And this was now for me with Tarosa. Was it good? Well, it's definitely usable. I wouldn't say I would recommend it. But, you know, it could have been worse. I'm actually going to go for stance in here because Philo does scare me. It definitely could have been worse, all right? Yo, I need to make another Philo video like this. I, when I used Philo with Brynhildr, I didn't actually use uh, S uh, Sigurd. And the attack buff from him could actually be pretty good. Okay. How much is she doing? I think he's dead. No, good. Good because he also buffs my uh, damage with the debuff. I didn't mention this at any given moment, but he does uh, buff my uh, debuff damage. So let's do this. My debuff card damage that is. Nine darkness. Pretty good for three stacks. Now they all have three darkness, meaning they're one touch away from encroachment, except this one, because, you know, <laughs> she avoids it. But we're gonna have even more stacks now. Uh, do we encroach or do we attack again? I think I'm not gonna encroach. Please don't quit. Please don't quit. Ooh, we are missing on... It's fine. We're gonna do this. We are missing out, though, on Zaldra's passive. Still wiped, though. Still wiped.